In this video we try to solve the following stuff in Docker. Docker you see it is an error occurred. Containers feature is disabled. Enable it, it using the PowerShell script in an administrative uh, PowerShell and restart your computer before using Docker Desktop. Enable this one. So we take this code, we go into our uh, into our, where is it? Let's say uh, PowerShell, 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 and we take the PowerShell and here we take this one as administrator and we are also check it, checking it to our start and to our taskbar. So we started here as administrator. It's coming up on my window on this one and now I drop that command in there control V and we start now this one enable enable Windows operations hyper V uh, um, our machine is our is another one is a uh, is an AMD processor that's why it might happen that it's not installed it's not an Intel machine and now we are restarting our machine and after this we should be able to switch this one in Hyper-V to our ASP.NET Core. I'm not sure if it happened, if it works, but we will see it. Now we are starting our application again. Now we had started this, uh, let's say we create a new application in Visual Studio ASP.NET Core web app. Next one we say here that's a docker, docker web app 04 and we do this one here with this docker enabled and in this case we try to run it on Windows. And that's a big difference. And after this we are starting it. Let's see if everything works as expected. Even even on an AM, AMD command uh, processor, even now it says, "Okay, do you want to start this uh, Docker?" Unable to find the target operating system for the project Docker Web. As we start, you can see now Docker is starting on the other machine. Your Docker server host is configured to Linux. Uh, however, your project target is Windows. Would you like to switch Docker to Windows containers? Yes. Now it's starting on the background again. And now you see there's an, an error and it is a, running on a daemon. Because it was not, not opened. Downloading something. From Microsoft.NET ASP.NET uh, version 6 as a base. And something happens on the background. And now let's see the Docker web app is created. And go on. That's the inside stuff. And yes, that's it. Now we have on localhost on this port 5197 an application and that's on ASP.NET Core 6.